Hello everybody, I've been Storm Baker here, back to you guys another video. And today, uh, I'm here at my new apartment. I moved on Saturday. And this is my new bedroom. Uh, so we are going to get started today. I have some older, some roto, some bone ball, some store, some storm roto ground global ball, um, gems here that are rare and discontinued. And some of them are just got discontinued that are here in my, um, in, in, in the six balls I'm going to show you guys here today. But this is pretty much just, uh, um, some of the older bone balls that I have in my bag. So this very day. And then I'm going to talk to you about the new apartment after I show you guys these um, six bone balls. So without further ado, we're going to start off with the Storm Alpha Cooks. Now, this is my one of my most expensive, this is probably the expensive, most expensive bone ball I have in my whole entire arsenal right now. Um, there's, like I said, I love, love this ball. It's still in very good shape. I've had this ball for, I want to say, three, four years now. The only thing, that, the only issue with it is that it's got a little bit of a nick right there. Very small nick right here. I don't know if you can barely see it. It's so small. But that was when I got it. I got a little bit nicked up at Redbix when I was using it. But it's a small little nick, so I'm not really worried about it. But like I said, this is my one of my most favorite balls in the bag. It's on second joke, and I had it plugged. I got it for like 100 bucks, And I've had it for like four years. I'm a big, huge fan of it. And, uh, this ball, new in box, like $725. Uh, I can run from $600 to $725, new in box for a new one. I've used, I've seen them about $250 to $300 for a single drill one. But, I definitely, definitely, when I can, I'm going to definitely stash it out for Cooks Away. I am a big fan of this ball. And I have to go bolt midway, uh, next week from, with my friend, my friend Emily. She asked me if I could sub for her team for next Monday night at Midway. So I'm definitely going to take the Alpha Cooks with me up there. And uh, I haven't brought up there in the league in like three, four years. So I'm definitely going to be taking this and we'll see how things go from there. So I'm going to put this away here. And we're going to go on to the next ball here. But the Alpha Cooks is one of my favorites. And you guys will see why, you guys will see, see why in the lanes when I do some videos of me filling it on my channel here. If you watched um Danny the Demon Slayer 2.0, he me and him did a video together at Midway and I threw my off crux there and I had I think two sixty seven or two six two sixty eight with it against him and I beat him pretty badly. He had like one I think he had one twenty five, one twenty six, but I'm he's getting I'm trying to help him get better. I'm trying to help my best friend with my color bug get better. My best friend color, my best friend with my color bug She's getting a whole lot better at bowling. She's averaging, I think, one... She's averaging, like, 150 right now. So, she's been bowling pretty well with me helping her out with her arsenal and me help coaching her a little bit. She's getting a lot better. And my friend Danny is getting a lot better as well. So, we're going to put the elf cups away. And... The good thing is... Is I have so much space at this apartment... Which I really, really, really do like. I have a lot more space here for equipment. So, I definitely cannot wait to get more stuff. And, I'm going to go on to my next ball here. Which, they just discontinued this ball. <clears throat> and my best friend, my car bug, has the only um, Zen ball that I am missing in the, um, to complete the Zen line. The they just the newest release in the Zen line that they made from Nine Global until they maybe make a new one in the future. The Zen Gold label. So right now I'm only missing the Zen U until I may possibly come up with a new Zen in the Nine Global line. And if they do, I'm gonna draw it to go with the Zen U as well when I draw the Zen U up. Um, this Zen Gold label complements my OG Zen very very well. It's a little bit cleaner than my original Zen. It's a little bit sharper with the exact same layout on it. Uh, tall pen. About the middle finger. I don't know what the layout is on this. Uh, I gotta ask my PSO. But the Zango label is a little bit cleaner than the original Zen. A little bit sharper. So if you like the original Zen. Which I'm a big fan of mine. I know a lot of people like the original Zen. It was around for a very long time for a good reason. It was around maybe like two, two and a half years. Before they discontinued it. This I don't know why this wasn't out as long as the Zen was. Because this one was really good as well. 
Um, I just find this one a little bit cleaner and a little bit sharper. This one is probably the cleanest bowling ball that I have in my bag. Um, currently. The only one I can think of that's just as clean as this, maybe a, um, a little less clean, is the Hustle Wine. And maybe the, um, maybe the Duo. The Duo is clean. The du my Duo is pretty clean. But I, it's very, it's also pretty angular. But I think my cleanest ball right now is between, is this angle label. And the reason why is because of its cover stock. And, um, they, um, they made the cover stock to be cleaner than the original design and have more pop. So I think that's the reason why this ball is my cleanest ball, ball in my arsenal right now. Is because of the cover stock matched up with the Zen Core. And it gives it a cleaner, more snappier shape than my original Zen with the same layout. So I have this at probably 3,000 right now. My original Zen is still polished. This one's about 3,000. And I really, really, really am a fan of the Zen Goal label. Now we're gonna go next on to my next ball here, and this is my, my one of my probably my second expensivest bone ball that I have, um, because this the Alpha Crocs is more expensive than this, the IQ Tour Gold. This is like my second more expensivest ball that I own. My third one probably my IQ Tour Fusion. Um, the IQ Gold. I got this for fifty five to sixty bucks. I got this, I figure like sixty dollars. My uh, best one, my color box, I got hers for like one thirty five, one forty. So I said I got mine for a pretty pretty good steal price because mine is um on its third drill now. But this IQ Gold is amazing. It's clean for the fronts. It's very 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 sharp off the back end. And the way I drilled it, I drilled a tall pin above the bridge way out. It really, really, really is clean for the front. Very, very, very sharp off the back. It's very, it's sharper than my IQ Emerald. It's sharper than my IQ 1230. And I think it's sharper, going to be sharper than my IQ Ruby when I draw the IQ Ruby. Um, just has very good length and very continuous snappy hook on the back end. I think this is going to be the, I think this is the most snappiest IQ I have. That's a pearl. I think the Ruby's going to go in between, I think the Ruby's going to be going between the Emerald and the IQ Gold here. And IQ30. So I think they're all going to copy each other. Because of the colors of the pigments of the balls. This would be actually a little bit different. But I think this is my sharpest IQ that I have that's pearlized. Uh, until I get my, uh, and then my, and until I get my Sonic back. Because my Sonic was really sharp as well. But I think this is still the sharpest one. Even when I get my Sonic back, I think this is still going to be the sharpest IQ that I have. And a Super Sonic. With the energy cover. I really miss that ball because I could go to that before my IQ tour. In my IQ Nano, my IQ Fusion, and my IQ Nano Pearl because it was the strongest uh, Sonic ball they released with the NRG cover. So, sadly, mine cracked, so I, and my Sonic cracked, so I gotta rebuy those in the future and redraw them. Same thing with my Gravity Evolve and my Crux Prime. So, we'll be redrawing them in the future. And my fight as well, I gotta redraw a fight and I gotta redraw an Omega Crux, but we'll do that. And also, I'm sorry, also an Insight. So, we'll do that as soon as we can. I'll schedule up another UC3. My UC3 uh, cracked. I bought. I got one used a while back and it cracked on me. So me and my cuddle, my best friend, my cuddle bug, kind of get a new UC3 in our bags. Which we will also be doing. At some point. I love this IQ Gold. Um, definitely going to be using this a lot for tournaments. And it's been one of my favorite IQs since I showed it. I really, really, really like it a lot. And I recommend it for anybody who... Misses the IQ Gold and wants to comment the Emerald, wants to comment the Ruby, or wants to comment any of the IQs that um, have been released, or their collectors and want to collect all of them. I think all the IQs are really, really good. So, let me put this away. And I believe we have like four more balls to show you. I gotta find my other one I was gonna show here. 
Actually, I might as well show these two as well while I'm at it. Might as well show these two as well. Because, uh, these are some of my other favorites. So I figured if I find more to show. Next one is the Hustle Ink. Since my uh, best friend, my car bug, told me about this, uh, her, um, her quote broke on hers, so I gotta get her another one. The Hustle Ink is one of, my, one of my favorite hustles. This and the Hustle Camo are two of my favorite hustles that I have. The Hustle Wine is the other hustle that I have until I get the Hustle USA, and so on and so forth. I'm gonna do a Hustle PBR as well, and some more hustles on the road as well, like the Hustle X, the X, Hustle X Ray, and so on and so forth. Maybe a Hustle Wrap. Hustle 3 TP, so on and so forth. But anyway, this Hustle Ink is my favorite hustle. And the reason why is because it's very, very, very smooth. If you have an IQ Tour and you love your IQ Tour, which IQ Tour's been around for a very, very, very long time, the Hustle Ink is like a weaker version of an IQ Tour. And I've said this repeatedly it is a must have in your arsenal. Whether you are a league bore or a tournament bore, if you don't have a Hustle Ink or can't find one, you can replace it, but it's going to be kind of hard to replace. So I think it's possibly close to it right now. It's maybe a Hustle X-Ray or a Hustle Camo. But the Camo is, for me, is a little bit sharper, a little bit um, cleaner than this. And the X-Ray, well, by me watching videos of it, it is a little sharper. So like I said, I think the X-Ray hooks the same amount, a little bit, hooks similar to a Hustle Ink. It's just the shape is a little bit different. And the um, Castle Camo is cleaner. You know, it's a solid cover. It's cleaner than the ink with the same amount of service. And it has more pop. So I think the only, I don't think you could find anything that's close in reaction to a Hustle Ink at the moment. Because the Hustle, uh, once you get the Hustle Wrap, I'm sorry, the Hustle RIP, the Hustle RIP is probably the closest thing you're going to get to an ink. But still, the shape on the Hustle IP is a little different. Hustle IP is just a tad cleaner and a tad sharper. But the motion is not the same. Like, any of the Hustles that are out right now, none of them are similar. They all have a little bit of a different reaction. Because not only the color pigments, but also the um, way the ball swirls and the way the ball, um, the colors of the ball make the um, ball hook a little bit different. I noticed that no matter... How I draw bowling balls, I draw them with the same layout for all the, all my hustles or different. They're all going to have different reactions. All because of the color, the color of the ball and the pigments that they do inside the ball with the colors that they're designing. Like the Hustle AU was very smooth. Very, very smooth. Even smoother than a Hustle Inc. Or a Hustle um, HSB or a Hustle HYB. But like I said, you can get all, you can get a whole entire arsenal of hustles, draw them all either the same or a little bit different, and they're going to complement each other very well. So, I really recommend the hustles. Hustle Inc. is my favorite one. I want to know in the comments if you guys can, what is your favorite hustle ball, but mine is definitely the Hustle Inc. And my Cuddle Bugs is also the Hustle Inc. So... My other one, which I just said, was talking about a few minutes ago, is the Hustle Camo. I did this one with a little bit of stronger layout. But I said, the Camo complements the ink very, very, very well. Um, this one's a little bit cleaner and a little bit sharper than the ink. Uh, from what I've seen with it. But I really like it because when it's friction, and your Hustle line is hooking too hard on the back. Or your hustle wrap is hooking too much, whatever pearl hustle you're throwing, or pearl eyes ball you're throwing, if they're too sharp or not coming around the corner, you can ball down to a hustle ink or a hustle camo or a hustle wine. I usually don't go to the hustle wine very much because that's like my, one of my weakest balls in my bag right now that I own. Until I get a UC3 and a Zen U and um, so on, and a hype, hype and a hype pearl drilled up in my outcry. Um, but this ball is very, very, very good. And I'm definitely, definitely a fan of it. And the reason I'm a big, huge fan is because of its predictability, its control, and the way it comes off the spot and goes through the pins. Um, I haven't used it in a bit because I've been giving it some a break um, so I can break it in, but I'm practicing it and break it in. 
but I really like the motion, and I'm definitely going to be using it a lot more in league and tournaments. Because of the shape it gives, it reminds me reminds me a lot of a stronger Hustle Ink, but a little bit sharper off the back end. So, I really am a fan of it. And I will continue to be because I like the shape. Okay, so next, we got three more bowling balls left to show. Uh, I don't know what balls I'm going to take tonight to, to no tap because I got a bowl no tap tonight. And then I got a bowl. No, I got a bowl sub for my friend Emily on uh, Monday at Midway. So we're going to the next ball. And a lot of people, I don't know, like this ball. I don't know if they like this ball or not. This can't with the Optimum Idol. Uh, I can't wait to drill that ball. I love the Idol series. My favorite one is actually, to be honestly, shocking. My favorite one is the Idol, Idol is between the Idol Pro, the OG Idol, and Idol Helios. The Helios, I have loved ever since I drilled it. Um, I throw it a lot. It's a little bit dirty right now because I do throw this ball a lot. It is one of my favorite uh, Idols that I have. And a lot of these people, a lot of people do not, not like the Idol Helios because of the strong, strong, strong cover. With the same a uh, um, Icon Core. This is Extreme Track Solid. And the Idol Cosmos Extreme Tracks Pro. A lot of people like the Cosmos more than Helios. Because the Helios they found at times was hooking too early. And coming off the spot either too hard. Or not hooking enough for to get the job done. You know this was a stronger cover. Stronger. The same core but a stronger cover of Bowling Ball. Um, I'm a big fan of my original Idol. That my best friend called Bug gave to me. Um, she bought it for me for a present. And I still have it. I still use it a lot. Definitely wanted to do a new one of that ball to, and when that uh, um, other one, the old one that she bought me died out, dies out. And I want to get the new Awesome Idol. But when I get the Awesome Idol, I'm definitely going to be doing it a little bit different. I'm going to try to do it a little bit weaker to comment the OG High Road. I'm sorry, OG Idol. So, can't wait to see it. Helios, I'm a big fan of it. I've been using it a lot in League. People keep telling me to do a TNT. I'm going to be doing a TNT and TNT infuse at some point as well. And uh, Sublime and a uh, Summit Peak and so on and so forth. So, I'm really excited to see what else I can draw up from SPI. And we'll go from there and see what happens. Now, we want to have like... Now, we have two more bowling balls left. And one is the IQ Tour Fusion. And the other one is the Zen Soul. So the Zen Soul, I've been a big fan of this as well. I can't wait to get the Zen Yu. Again, like I said earlier, and I can't wait to get the, if they make any more Zen, so I'm definitely going to be drawing them up. Uh, the Zen Soul, I have maybe four or five games on it. And so far, I'm really a fan. It complements the phase two in the bag very well. It's a little bit, a little bit weaker. A little bit, a little bit sharper. And, uh, when I'm struggling with my phase two, my phase is not coming in the corner. I have this to go to as a compliment. So, big, huge fan of this. And definitely uh, can't wait to see what it's going to do when I uh, do it, bake the ball in and get used to it some more. And so now we're down to the, nit grit, the nitty gritty, the final bone board video. You put this in so away. Final, final board video is the IQ Tour Fusion. As I got told you guys in a previous video, I drilled my second IQ Fusion. My first one went to my friend Charles. Because uh, I wanted a new one. And there's the, there it is. Uh, the pin is right here in this plug. So if you guys can see the ball, the plug, the pin's in this plug right here. Uh, so it's a tall, 
tall pin above the middle finger. Lay out like my Zango label. The pin is right here in this plug. Can't see the pin, but that's where the pin is. And I got I don't know the, pin, the way out is on this ball, but the pin is in this plug right over here. So, I'm not sure the way out is on this ball, but this ball is amazing. I love my first one so much. I shot 770, my first one. And I am really excited to see what this, this new one's going to do. I've got some games on it, but I haven't got a lot of games on it. And I'm working on um, seeing how it's going to perform. I gotta put some more service on it, which I'm gonna definitely, definitely, definitely be doing. Uh, and I'm gonna practice with it some more and see how it goes from there. Until next time, Abby Stonebaker signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace.